I work for a network of 42 agencies, nonprofit agencies in Ohio that weatherize low income housing. We use the weatherization assistance program as well as funding from utility companies and funding from the low income home energy assistance program, which is transferred over to weatherization uh, because policymakers in Ohio prefer to invest in more permanent solutions to energy poverty. They use all those sources of funds on a single unit to ensure we can provide comprehensive services. So we're going to do the electric base load like the refrigerators and the lighting and the fans. We're going to do the, the air sealing. We're going to do wall insulation, attic insulation, uh, water pipe insulation for hot water pipes. We're going to literally do everything that we can find in that house and we'll use different pots of money to pay for it so we can have that impact. Our average savings in a gas heated house is 30% of the energy used. Um, so we're dropping customers' uh, energy bills by a quarter. And uh, our average on the electric side is somewhere between 8 and 12%. So again, have it a pretty significant impact on the family budget, improving the quality of the, the of the home that people live in, uh, potentially improving their health. So uh, we think we have a pretty big impact on people's lives. And uh, I, got, I got over a thousand people in Ohio that are doing this kind of work and, and they love it. They really love it. Well, electrification is the concept of converting from fossil fuel direct combustion like natural gas or propane to electricity driven services in a home. Most obvious would be uh, a switch from gas heat to electric heat in the form of heat pumps. Technologies are making that a whole lot more possible than it used to. The new uh, heating, ventilation, cooling systems that are built around heat pump technology are far, far more efficient than a comparable gas furnace would be, for example. Well, I think the, the primary issue that we're all confronting is climate change. And making your own home energy efficient is one of the ways you can reduce carbon emissions and other greenhouse gas emissions um, with your, you know, in a way that really matters to you, in a way that you have some control over. I always like to say that weatherization is the art of the possible. So within this house, what can we do to make it as efficient as possible given what we're starting with? We're looking for everything in a house that's got a, a, a savings to investment ratio of greater than one, which means it eventually pays for itself. <laughs>